guy in my church, mm. all right, I mm. gave him a prophecy that he would own a bank. Wow. I saw it. Wow. My senior brother came, gave him the same prophecy, you own a bank. Mm. Another prophet came, prophesied the same thing, you own mm. a bank. Mm. And these are three different people mm. who don't, three different people who don't know themselves, right? Wow. They all gave him the prophecy, you own a bank. He died. Without the bank? Without the bank. Did God lie? God did not lie. Maybe the prophet lied. No, the prophet did not lie. Mm. The issue is that he did not work on the prophecy. He was negligent. He allowed the enemy to take his life. Now, in the prophetic, there are two ways by which prophecy will come to pass. There are the conditional prophecies and the unconditional prophecies. One day, a guy was very sick. And Jesus went there to pray for the guy. And the disciples said, what did he do that he's sick? And, the Jesus, and Jesus said, he did not do anything. But for the glory of God to be seen, that is how, why he's there. Mm. So God deliberately kept the guy there for his own glory. Mm. So there are certain problems God himself created so that he will, become, he will take the glory. That is unconditional. There's nothing the guy will do unless God himself comes in to heal him. That is what we call the conditional. And 90% of prophecies are conditional. When the prophecy comes, what happens is that there are things you must do to activate it. I remember one of my cousins was, 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 was married and she found it difficult to conceive. Mm. So I was preaching in Community 25. Mm. In the preaching, God said, go to her house. Wow. So right after preaching, I drove straight to her house at midnight. And I said, God says I should come here. Mm. Where would you keep your daughter, your son, when you give birth to him? He said, this room. God said, anoint the room, let them shut the room. They should not open the room until she conceives. Wow. So she swept the room, cleaned the room, anointed the room, and she shut it. The room was shut. The same month she conceived. Mm. Same thing happened in Cote d'Ivoire. A woman who came to see me with a husband. No, I was prophesying and I picked her. Mm. And I said, you are married for so many years without a child. God says, you give birth to a girl. Make sure you buy things that girls will need. So she bought everything according to them. I left to the U.S. I came back after three years. She had not conceived yet. Wow. So she came back to me and she asked me, Prophet, you prophesied to me that's not come to pass. Let me digress a bit. Anytime some, a prophet gives you a prophecy and it has not yet manifested, go back to him. Mm. 